First, this lunchtime, holidaymakers have been returning to East Midlands Airport after fleeing the wildfires on the Greek island of Rhodes. Two scheduled flights arrived back late last night. 19,000 people have been affected by a mammoth evacuation effort on the island. Simon Hare reports. Tracy Smith. In other news this lunchtime, people in Derbyshire hit by flooding early this month can apply for emergency financial help from the County Council. Matlock has suffered from City Councils being given more than £120,000 to help fund jobs to stop terrorism in the city. The cash from a former leisure centre in Derby where Olympic swimmer Adam Peaty trained could be demolished. Queen's Leisure Centre has been em Leicester's Jane Centre is celebrating 50 years of the religion in the city. Jainism is now last week. You may remember we told how a Nottinghamshire rock star was planning to play a charity show at a local school. Well, the sold out event was a great success and Ben Mathy now has an upgrade to his wheelchair, which means greater mobility and independence. Our reporter Simon Ward was at the show. <laughs> Now let's take a look at the weather forecast. Another grey, wet and pretty miserable day, Zara. When's it going to end? It was the start like that. We're getting a little bit of an improvement outside at the minute. It's not a great deal, granted, because we still have a fair bit of cloud. But the odd brighter interval around this afternoon, the odd sunny spell, because it was raining again, as Jodie's just said. First thing this morning, thank you to Angie Macker, one of our weather watchers, for capturing these lovely raindrops on the water. And I think we fared a little bit better considering the north of the country over the weekend but we certainly did see a fair bit of rain and we've had the rain this morning which was the weather front sinking southwards now so that's actually starting to clear it's just a legacy of cloud that's coming in at the moment behind that and it will break so there's a chance of seeing a little bit of blue sky into this afternoon one or two showers still possible so you might still need your brolly if you're heading off out temperatures they are down for the time of year so 18 celsius the maximum today and quite a chilly sort of northerly breeze but through the evening and overnight a lot of the showers do tend to start to die away, so we'll have a few clear spells developing. The nighttime temperature dropping to lows of 9, maybe 10 Celsius into the early hours. And through tomorrow, it starts off fine and dry, a little bit of early morning sunshine, but then the cloud does tend to start to increase, and we're likely to see some showers as well. Some of them could be quite heavy through tomorrow. We'll see the daytime temperature again, very similar to today, highs of 18 Celsius. And it turns wetter as we head throughout Wednesday and into Thursday, again. Again, another area of low pressure starting to move in. So some heavy rain Wednesday night, which tends to sort of roll into Thursday, and we might then see heavy thundery showers through the daytime on Thursday. It brings slightly warmer air back in, though, so the temperatures do start to climb again Thursday into Friday. Friday probably a bonus day with a bit more sunshine before it starts to turn a bit wetter again over the weekend. Well, we'll look forward to the end of the week then. Well, that's all from the East Midlands this lunchtime. And we'll be back with your next news bulletin at 6.30. Until then, have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye for now.